Hello everyone, I'm Vera Worthington and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be making a popsicle stick holder for my Copic ink refills. Now if you've ever used the Copic Various Ink marker refills, um, you know that they're alcohol ink and you know that they don't stand up on their ends when you have the cap off. So I was trying to figure out a way to keep these from falling over. So I decided the best way to do that is to build myself a little popsicle stick holder. <laughs> so um, if you use alcohol inks often, like I do, and you have pinata inks, you have Tim Holtz, Holtz Ranger inks, you'll know that when you have the cap off of those, those stand up on their own, they're fine. You could pick up a bottle, pour a few drops, put it back down, no problem. Doesn't interrupt your workflow. But when you have the Copic ink refills, you kind of need to have them upright so that way you can drip a couple of drops from the bottle and set it down without interrupting your workflow with, okay, take the cap off, put the cap back on. So I just want to say what I'm doing here. I put four bottles of inks in between the pop sticks and I added pop sticks between the ink bottles just to test the spacing. I wanted to make sure that I had four evenly spaced places for these inks. So I just laid some bottles on there and that worked out really well. And I also want to mention that I'm using a glue gun. Why am I using a glue gun instead of Elmer's glue, which I know is so much cheaper? Well, because I don't have Elmer's glue. I had a glue gun, so that's what I used. Um, and I'm sure that a lot of you um, that have children have Elmer's glue, so feel free and steal this from your children. In fact, this is one of those very rare times where I wish I had a kid because this would be a great project for your kids just to keep them busy and out of your hair so that you can make alcohol ink art and then you can give them a pile of pop sticks and a bottle of elmer's glue and say to your kid hey you want to help mommy or help daddy put together a popsicle stick holder for my inks here's the pop sticks and here's the elmer's glue and you could just sit next to me while you do it and the reason I say have them sit next to you is because you want to check their work and make sure that your Copic ink refills will fit within those little spaces. And as you can see, I divided the four long spaces into eight smaller spaces. So that way we can put eight bottles of ink into our popsicle stick stand. I am going to fast forward through some of this because I'm sure you don't want to see me hot gluing sticks for 20 minutes. So I shorten this video down for you so that way you don't get bored. Um, I wanted to do this as quick as possible and uh, I was actually shocked that it took me 20 minutes. So I slowed it down here again just to show you that I'm putting um, a stick across the middle again and that's so when you put your inks in they don't fall to the side they still stay um, standing up relatively straight. So I'm going to fast forward this again in a second because you know watching me glue pop sticks is boring I know. <laughs> But I put three dabs of glue there just to um, get that uh, extra piece in there that I filled in. So I'm just, you know, gluing, gluing, gluing. And um, what I'm going to do at some point, you'll get to it soon, is I'm going to pick up one of the bottles of inks and just check the height of it. Here we go. Yeah, that looks to be about the height I want it at. Um, you still want the um uh oh 
Oh, one second. I ran out of pop sticks. I got to get some. There we go. <laughs> um, you want the height to be tall enough so that way your ink bottles stick out of the holder with the tops off and you could easily grab it. So there, I just glued a bottom on. So that way when you put your inks inside, you could easily move it around. You don't have to have it stationary in one spot. You don't have to take the inks out in order to move the holder. You just put a bottom on it so you can move it. And I'm just removing all those um, hot glue strings. Man, they get everywhere. So annoying. But, you know, having little strings and blobs of glue is not going to really affect how my holder works. And here I'm just taking off um, the cap of one of the bottles just to show you. It pops right in there very easily. It's out of my way. I'm getting a palette just to show you how I use the well palettes and I pour my ink into the well palette so that I can dip a brush in there and paint with it that way. So that's my handy little holder. Now I can move them around and store them neatly instead of having a big pile of bottles on the side of my desk. I hope you enjoyed and I inspired you to have your kids make one for you. <laughs> Bye.